What exactly is it about Halo that makes it such a web of franchise? Let's take a look. What's up crows? Scarecrow here with Abstract Gaming bringing you another Halo related video today guys. In this one we are going to look and see what is exactly that draws people into the series and just can't seem to let go. So I have a few characteristics written down here that I believe may be some fantastic points and honestly is one of the reasons I fell in love with the series. And one of them is an amazing story. I can honestly, usually in shooters, especially first person shooters, the multiplayer will be really fun, but the campaign just can't quite get it down. Which I will say in the last about 10 years or so, they have been doing a great job coming up with fun and engaging campaigns. And I think Halo might actually be the kind of the uh, the forefront of all that. The reason a lot of them have kind of focused on campaign to make a better experience. You play as a Spartan named John 117 who is forced to take on these alien forces. I mean, like, seriously, hordes and hordes and hordes of alien races to try to save the human race. And as he goes through, he finds out the threat is a actually much bigger than just the elites there's also an enemy called the flood and the flood is set on just taking life from all enemies actually they kind of feed off humans and elites and anything with a life force and you are just pinned against these guys to try to make sure what you know just what comes best for the human race and as you play through the games you see the somewhat robot character become more and more human because of his robot friend who acts quite human. So it's got all kinds of stuff to action. It's got humor. You know, just Sergeant Johnson being such a comedic relief really was a nice uh, kind of pull out of the game. It's like, okay, that, that guy's pretty funny. It, it kind of meshes well with my overly serious giving the covenant back their bomb. Uh, Spartan here that I'm always playing so it's really cool to see that blend also Master Chief like I said he, he's so cool he's got great lines of the the bomb part and finishing the fight and all these cool lines and then later you get to play as the Arbiter and honestly he's probably equally as cool as Master Chief honestly they did a great job coming up with two characters that were just fantastic. They tried to, you know, add a few more later in Halo 5. That didn't quite work out. But the Arbiter, man, were it so easy. He's just so cool. And uh, seriously, it's two of the greatest protagonists in any video game history. The next one is enemies you love to kill. Now, it started out just you taking on elites grunts, jackals, and then flood. But something about the elites and killing the jackals and killing the grunts, especially the grunts. The grunts, you kill all, all the other enemies and the grunts are left. Man, they, they would just about join your side. And they are so funny. Almost as funny as Sergeant Johnson. And then later when the brutes come in, they add even a new layer of antagonist. You, fight, you actually fight a, a boss br brute, and it's really cool. It's really fun in a like an arena-style combat, and it's super cool. Uh, you get to see the more primal uh, of fights, fighting them. And honestly, I've had them like absolutely ruin my vehicles on driving warthogs and stuff. And then the elite's been more smarter, of course, pulling out energy swords, going camouflage. All these, it's like a chess game. Who am I going to get now? I'm going to get the rook. Okay, this is how he moves. He knows how I move. So we kind of have to think about all these set moments I need to take to actually overcome these enemies, especially on harder difficulties. I've been playing on easy here lately, and I'm, I'm seriously, I can't believe how difficult easy is. My next point is awesome level design. 
Dude, go back and play Halo 1, 2, 3. Look what fantastic levels. Silent Cartographer. Beautiful map. Absolutely fun. Uh, Metropolis from Halo 2. Fantastic map. Outskirts. Oh my gosh, dude. Everybody knows outskirts. The map is fantastic. Climbing on the rooftop. So many ways to play it. Halo 2. Seriously. You get the map. They don't care. You're supposed to be out there. <laughs> they put some checkpoints out there. Halo 3. The Ark. The Covenant. Sierra 117. Rat's Nest. All these are fantastic maps. And you actually go and get scarabs and actually destroy scarabs. And it just feels like s such cool scenes and sets that they allow you to just go out and play your heart out in the sandbox and express yourself creatively in killing enemies. Honestly, there's so many ways to kill enemies that is it's just absolutely fantastic that I can't even think of any other game that's not open world that has such options to it. Okay, we're going to kind of move away from the campaign and then go to the well-beloved multiplayer. Everyone and their grandmother has heard Halo's multiplayer. Halo 2 set records, even beat out movies and opening weekends of how great the multiplayer was received. And a lot of it is due to balance starts. Yes, they try to change that a little bit with Halo Reach, Halo 4, you get to choose custom classes, you get to choose different armor abilities, different weapons, and it just didn't work like Halo 1, 2, and 3 did, where you starting out with these similar weapons in similar locations on symmetrical, asymmetrical, uh, capture the flag, slayer, assault, oddball, so much into one game mode, and you go, you play Battlefield, you play Call of Duty, you're playing matches for like 10 to like 30 to 40 minutes if you're playing Battlefield. But Halo, the matches are like, can be as short as five minutes. And in that five minutes, so much has happened. It, you, you had to use so much of your brain to overcome your enemy because everybody is usually close and still with their opponent. All these weapons on map, all these paths to take, all these steel jumps, steel grenades, steel spawns, how to spawn kill, where to stand, uh, all these setups and stuff, man. Just so much. Yeah, people say it's super basic, but honestly, if you have a great foundation, then you have a great game. If you have to go and just add and add and add and add, just to make your game great, just like my dad says, if you put a bunch of ketchup on a hot dog, you obviously don't like hot dogs. You like ketchup. So if you add Sprint and all this stuff onto a terrible foundation, you don't like Halo. You like games that have Sprint in it. You know, you have all these other options. Call of Duty, Borderlands. They just released Bo uh, announced Borderlands 3. Maybe you're a fan of Borderlands. The next one is a great ranking system. So there's nothing feels better than getting home from school with your buddies that play Halo with you and you're like, all right, last night I got to level 21. I'm going to try to go for 41 tonight. I'm going to hit that 50 tonight. And just go and you grind and you win and you lose. You go up and you go down. And it's just so fun, dude. You, you know when you hit that 50 that you earned it. And then, okay, I got 50 in this. Let's let's try a little harder. Let's go try to get 50 in MLG. Let's try to get 50 by myself without my teammates. Let's try to... First of all, you made so many great friends going in and just grinding by yourself. Playing social and just trying to get that general, like in Halo 3. Getting that, that uh, Brigadier Level 5, Staff Sergeant, and all that stuff. It's just so much fun working for something. And Halo did a great job of that, especially in the first, well, two and three had fantastic ranking systems, and the Halo 3 had an awesome social ranking system as well. The next step is competitive gameplay. Now, this kind of goes with balanced starts, but like I said, all these skill jumps, skill grenades, skill spawns, spawn kills, getting better with a sniper rifle. Putting yourself in situations so you can improve. Figuring out, okay, maybe I'm an objective player. 
Maybe I'm a, I'm just a, a absolutely main slayer. All these certain aspects to the game that you can go and test out and try to be better and help your teammate out to get that win, to get that 50. And there's just so much to it. It's just so competitive while also being social and just anyone could have picked it up and played it. That's what is fantastic maps and modes. I remember going in, I always have a certain game mode I like on certain maps. I don't want to play Beaver Creek. Yes, Slayer is fun, but it really shines on Capture the Flag. I like Last Resort Slayer, but it really shines on One Flag Capture the Flag. I like Hide Round, but it really shines on One Flag Capture the Flag. First of all, just go back and play Halo 1, 2, and 3, and it had such great maps. The Pit, Lockout, Midship, Battle Creek, uh, so many awesome maps. Crow's Nest, um, Guardian, man. Uh, honestly, there's so many great maps, and it's just something about it. It just has such nostalgia thinking about it. Is it like, okay? I, I actually want to go play Halo right now. Uh, the last point is an awesome community. This is kind of a what came first, the chicken or the egg. And honestly, Halo has such a passionate and just awesome community. People with very strong opinions. They want to see the best. They each have a different opinion of what is best for Halo, but they all want to see what is best for the franchise. And honestly, I can't think of a better community. I've played quite a bit of other games like Gears of War, Call of Duty, but something about the Halo community that just, honestly, it's some of the best people you could ever meet. Just chat with you guys in the comments and everything. It's just fantastic. Getting to know each and every one of you with the same passions that I have. And guys, honestly, you're fantastic. Comment down below. What do you enjoy about Halo? It is kind of hard to think of just a few. So if you want to type me huge long messages of what you love about Halo, go ahead, type them out. And I will try to read each one. I do try to reply to everyone's comments. But guys, I think this will be the perfect time to end the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe. Turn on the bell because I do try to upload three times a week. And we want to make sure... All of you are not missing out on anything because that subscribe button is a little bit tricky sometimes. And guys, like always, God bless and don't forget to up. Uh...